Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching back with another Whiteboard Wednesday. Now today I want to address a question from a viewer about Achilles injuries and how to rehab those. Let's take a look. Achilles injuries can be really, really niggly. If you've ever had one, you know what I'm talking about. They can hang around for a long time, continually flare up. So what I want to do is address a question that I got about Achilles injuries and how to sort of go through things to hopefully give you the best shot at getting back up and running and performing the way you want to. Now this is not medical advice, nor should it replace medical advice, so always get in touch with your doctor or physiotherapist uh, to get a specific treatment plan for you. But here we go, so Achilles, this is the one we're talking about here, this is the calf muscle, the gastrox and the soleus which is underneath it. The Achilles tendon runs down from the calf muscle and joins onto the heel. So this is what we're talking about here. Now sometimes with the Achilles it can just get little micro tears in it which cause inflammation and pain, or you can have a complete rupture where it completely snaps off. So what we're talking about today is largely the little micro tears and tendonitis that it forms in there rather than the complete rupture. The first thing we need to do is give uh, our Achilles time to go through a healing process. If it's a full rupture, you're gonna need surgery, and obviously you need to get in touch with your doctor or specialist about that. If you've got tendonitis, which is most cases what runners and endurance athletes get in their Achilles, your time frame is gonna, gonna vary from somewhere between two to maybe four weeks to get that initial recovery time happening. But consult with your physiotherapist to get a definite timeline on that. Now during this time, what happens is the body, what we'll do is we'll just zoom in on this tendon and say there are our micro tears, what happens is the body lays down and tries to repair these with collagen and fibrin fibers. So what happens is the body goes in there, this mismatch of fibers to try and heal that wound. It's kind of like fiberglassing up a crack in a boat or fixing a crack in a bike with carbon fiber. All these fibres run a really different mismatch of ways. There's also going to be inflammatory fluid circulating around there, and that fluid's going to cause pain, redness, heat. But this is all part of the natural healing process. So it's crucial that this healing process takes place, and it requires some time. Once that takes place, you'll probably find that you can move around all right, there's no real pain. But what will happen is because this repair as kind of a bit of a mismatch of a repair, it will continually flare up. So you may go for a run and it's really sore afterwards. Or it's good for a couple of weeks and then you try and increase your training load, bang, it's right back at you. So this repair needs to be remodeled and strengthened. So the second phase is remodeling. And what we need to do is mechanically break down this network. And the reason we need to break it down is at the moment, they're all running in various directions. What we need to do is get them all lined up. It's kind of like carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is very strong when everything's running in the same direction. When you've got this random fiber lay, it doesn't, it's not as strong, or it's, very, it's not as strong in the right directions. So what we need to do is mechanically break down these fibers. And you can do that with massage, you can do it with foam rolling and mobilization work, but what we need to do is start breaking down this matrix. And it's gonna, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna require some, some effort. And then what we do is we wanna load it with eccentric load. Now eccentric load is loading the tissue while it's lengthening. So if you imagine the bicep muscle, this here is concentric, the muscle's contracting under load. If I was to hold a weight, lowering it down while the bicep is lengthening, 
that's eccentric. So with the calf muscle or the Achilles tendon, this eccentric load helps with the mechanical breakdown, but also it exposes the tendon to the load direction that we're after, which is this straight up and down. So once the fibers are broken down, we're able to get them lined up in the right direction. And that's that remodeling phase using eccentric loading. So what that would look like in the real, real world would be doing calf raises. Be doing calf raises where you go up with either both feet or on the good leg and then lower down on the bad leg or the injured Achilles. So phase three is about strengthening. Now that we've broken down those fibers, got them in the right direction, everything's a lot stronger than it was back here. But what we want to do is really strengthen it up now and future-proof the Achilles so that it's not a weak spot. It's not your Achilles heel for the future. So what it is is all about that progression of strength. So where you might have just been doing calf raises on a step with your body weight, now you hit the gym, get in the calf raise machine and you're using weight to strengthen that. Eccentric loading is still key. That seems to be the best way of strengthening tendons uh, based on the research. And it's all about future-proofing that Achilles so it's not an ongoing problem as you train. So get that sorted. Hopefully that's been useful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you get alerted every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out on any of the training information and tips that I have in these videos. If you want to check out some more of my other videos, make sure you check out the video over here about are you training too much? How do you know if you're training too much? And also check out this video over here, why 90% of people watching that video won't achieve their goals and what you can do about it. So get out there, check out those videos so that you can train harder, but most importantly, train smarter.